This is up close and personal. In putting together the first chamber music concert, um, Echoes of Austria, I decided to have two quintets. So we're going to have a piano quintet featuring Fabio Bedini. We're going to do the Brahms piano quintet, which is one of the great war horses of chamber music, as well as the Schubert Adagio and Rondo Concertant. And then pairing that with a wind quintet, to celebrate Ligeti's 100th birthday. They're going to do the six bagatelles, which are just wonderful pieces of music. Very folksy, very, some people hear Ligeti and they think, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so strange and, and unfriendly. But in fact, these pieces are absolutely lovely and feature the winds in such a beautiful way. And then one of my favorite wind works, the Barber Summer Music. A piece like the Ligeti six bagatelles in the incredibly brilliant hands of our woodwind players is going to be a real treat. So the piano piece that he wrote in the early 50s uh, was the Musica Ricercata, and it's 11 movements. 11 because the first movement was based on two pitches, and then the second movement was three, and going on and on until the 11th was all 12 chromatic pitches. Um, and it really was um, an experimentation for him. What could he create within this framework, within these limitations? The six pieces that he chose, I feel like there are two of them that to me really stand out as uh, highlighting the differences between what a piano does, what one musician at a piano can do, and what five different musicians and brains and instruments can do and also cannot. Barber even said himself of the piece that he wanted it to be evocative of summer in specifically the languid kind of relaxation way, not the swatting mosquitoes kind of way. He uh, spent the year before he composed uh, this work uh, listening in on the New York Woodwind Quintet's rehearsals. And he was very aware by the time he started composing of all of the strengths and weaknesses of each instrument, the timbres that were available to him by combining different instruments. And I think he wrote with a great deal more freedom. The Brahms Quintet has a little bit more complicated history than other pieces. First of all, it was supposed to be a quintet with two violins, one viola, and two celli. Then he didn't like it. He transcribed it for two pianos. Never was published the version without piano. And then also, after having written the two piano version, he wasn't very satisfied. And he said, maybe I could try to, to do a symphony or a movement of a symphony with this. And he started it. He didn't like it. Uh, he aborted immediately this, uh, this try, and he decided to go with the quintet formation, which is today is an iconic piece in the, in the history of music. Schubert wrote so many songs, so many leader, that they are connected to the seasons, to the days, to the weather, to the nature, to flowers, to trees, to feelings. Brahms also wrote Lieder, that they are not necessarily talking about nature, but the nature of the human being. Uh, Schubert already wrote incredibly famous Lieder by the time he was 19, before he even wrote this quartet. Incredibly enough, the piano, when he starts playing, there is not a single moment of relaxation. And he is using actually the strings as an ornament to the piano. Now, the rondo also is very different than what at that time the form of rondo was. At that time the rondo was A, B, A, C, A. In this rondo he is deciding to do something completely different. We have four different thematic lines, which have A, B, C, D, and then he repeats the entire four thematic lines another time after the reprise. So, it is a repetition, but it's not an alternating repetition. And the adagio is more an introduction to what the rondo is going to be. But the most important thing actually is that Schubert never wrote a piano concerto, piano and orchestra, never wrote that. And actually this 
uh, concertante, uh, the quartet that we are going to play, is the closest thing of a piano concerto. That's why it's called concertante. I just can't wait to do it. <laughs> 